Man, that was the greatest Super Bowl ever! Well, that was weird. But anyway, Travis Kells totally deserved MVP. G'day guys, this is Holy Critics signing in. And I just wanted to share with you a picture perfect moment. Something to make you feel all warm fuzzy inside. Taylor Swift and Travis Kells. What an epic finish to a fantastic Super Bowl. And I don't even watch the NFL. The Kansas City Chiefs winning the game with three seconds left in overtime. You couldn't have scripted it any better if you were making a Hollywood movie. Almost as if it's too good to be true. And then you've got all these right-wing conspiracy theorists trying to rain on trailers parade. People like Will Compton, veteran of the game. NFL is basically the WWE now. All scripted, fixed, they will pick who they want to win. It's all fake. Wow, that's quite a claim to make. Has he got any proof to back it up? Maybe he thinks the 49ers threw the match. Maybe they got the memo at half time. Or maybe somebody greased the palms of those referees. Yeah, all those bad decisions they make which turn the momentum against the 49ers. And some people even blame Joe Biden. Get a load of this. Joe Biden's epic reaction to Taylor Swift conspiracy theory. Just like we drew it up. A conspiracy theorist Martin Walsh suggested to give his re-election bid a fresh feel. Biden's team is exploring potential endorsements from prominent figures, including celebrities. One name that has come up is Taylor Swift. President Joe Biden is facing historic lows in his disapproval ratings and is actively seeking ways to reinvigorate his campaign with new young energy. Meanwhile, his likely opponent in the upcoming election, former President Donald Trump, continues to gain traction in the Republican primaries. So he's doing a terrible job running the country, but somehow he can pull the strings and determine the outcome of a major sporting event? Seems a little far-fetched to me. Following the victory, Biden shared his response to this theory in a cryptic message, along with a photo of Dark Brandon, just like we drew it up. Everyone quickly linked it to the Kansas City win and right-wing theorists of Biden rigging it. However, Trump dismissed these theories, emphasizing his past support for Taylor Swift through the Music Modernization Act. He claimed Biden did nothing for her and asserted there was no way she would endorse a corrupt president. I think he might be sadly mistaken here. There's no way she could endorse crooked Joe Biden, the worst and most corrupt president in the history of our country, and be disloyal to the man who made her so much money. Disloyal? What does he think she pledged an allegiance to him? I want you to listen to a couple of crazy conspiracy theories that came out earlier this month to see if they actually came true. I know why the Super Bowl conspiracy was wrong. Do you? The Super Bowl logos correctly predicted the past two years of Super Bowls. They had the colors of the teams that were in the Super Bowls and the correct winners were on the bottom of the logos. This year's was supposed to be the 49ers versus the Baltimore Ravens. Okay, yes. So it was supposed to be red and purple. And the Ravens lost. The reason why it's wrong is because it's a leap year. Well, okay, wait, where are you going? Space and time has control over everything and I think that the leap year messed up the Super Bowl conspiracy. Brian, this sounds ridiculous. I have proof. This is ridiculous. Yes. Proof. Okay, what, what what proof can you show me? 2024 is a leap year. The last leap year was 2020. Yes, it's every four years. You know what happened in 2020? What happened? Well, you had the Trump-Biden election. It was Chiefs versus 49ers in the Super Bowl. Oh. So the Chiefs won that year. Okay, it goes deeper. All right, does it? The presidential election was that year, and it was Trump versus Biden. This year is the same exact presidential election. Mm, okay, that is deeper. And Biden won the presidential election. And, okay. So I'm predicting... I'm sure Trump has something else to say about that. <laughs> if the Chiefs win the Super Bowl, Joe Biden will be the president. <laughs> oh, if this... the 49ers win, I think Donald Trump will be the president. This is how far we're going? This we're is going how deep I'm going. going. going so the Chiefs won, and thus we're going to get another four years of Joe Biden. Yay! Um, yay? Chiefs is going to win the Super Bowl. Travis Kelsey is going to be the MVP. And when they ask him what you going to do after this, he going to propose to Taylor Swift. I got some numbers for you, right? Taylor Swift's favorite number is 13. Her album covered 
It's 13. 100 minus 13 is 87. Travis Kelsey's number is 87. She's flying in from Tokyo. That's 13 hours away. The 49... Exactly 13 hours? I doubt that very much. Niners is the first seed. Chiefs is the third seed. 1 and 3. 13. 49 is 4 plus 9 equals 13. And then I looked up like numerology. Do you believe in numerology? Like with the numbers? Uh, I believe in I my believe Lord in God. Jesus Christ. Yeah. They said num like 13 is like angel numbers where like 1313. One, 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 that means you find your soulmate. Yeah. That theory is a little bit too wacky for me. Anyway, now I want to show you all the satanic events that played out that night. First up, we had Kanye West in the audience. Isn't that a great sight to see? And this time he decided to put an image of Jesus Christ stapled to his face. <laughs> oh my god what is wrong with this guy and then at the halftime show we had usher dancing around the ninth circle of hell take a look and you know it's hot because he's sweating his balls off check out this chick here she's got the devil horns and the dominatrix outfit great family fun for all to enjoy and heck we even had Taylor Swift chugging down a beer, just like the common folk do. Take a look. Here's a closer look for you. So we've got Ice Spice doing the old devil horns, and she has a inverted cross necklace. Isn't that fantastic? They really like to have an overt display of their Satanism these days, don't they? So now I want you to hear from this TikToker who has an interesting perspective on why the Super Bowl is used to distract you from something else going on in society at the same time. Can you guess what it is? The Super Bowl is the distraction. Super Bowl is the largest human trafficking day of the year. Human Trafficking Prevention Month is every January, which also aligns with the spotlight that the Super Bowl puts on the issue. 27.6 million human trafficking victims in the U.S. every year. That's a number that's almost too big to be believable. 27.5 million human traffic victims in the United States alone. That's the entire population of Australia. Here. They distract you with a fake relationship on the field. They distract you with alcohol. The Super Bowl revenue is $17.3 billion a year. Valentine's revenue is over $23 billion a year. Ash Wednesday is also on Valentine's Day this year. It feels like energy harvesting spiritual warfare. The word alcohol derives from the Arabic term al-kul, which means body-eating spirit. That's why they call alcohol spirit. Matthew 17, 21 has been removed from several Bibles, which talks about this kind can only be brought out by prayer and fasting, talking about when Jesus and the disciples were trying to cast a demon out of a man. It can only be brought out by prayer and fasting. Ash Wednesday is Valentine's Day. Almost like they don't want us preparing to celebrate the resurrection of our Lord and Savior, if you choose to believe. Maybe if we stop celebrating all these commercialized holidays, they would realize we're not playing and start listening to We The People again. Lots of distractions going on. I love you. Have a good night. Well, that was some interesting food for thought. No pun intended. But I do agree with her in the sense that major sporting events really are an opiate of the masses, used to distract us from greater events going on both domestically and internationally. And this whole Taylor and Travis soap opera, this drama, really is one big nothing burger. And if she is powerful enough to swing the election to Joe Biden, then America really deserves what it's going to get. Thanks for watching, and this is Holy Critic. Signing out.